What's up, XC1 Gamerhead fans? In this video, I'm going to give you a couple things to think about. It's just going to be a really quick two minute long video, but uh, I'm going to give you a couple things to think about going forward into anniversary. So maybe you want to take that into consideration here. So I was just doing my daily stuff here on the game before it reset, doing a little bit of RTA with rival runes, whatever you want to call this, uh, beep out but live. I'm plat one at the moment, but I was doing some stuff and somebody pointed out to me that Unas's leader buff was changed. So basically, if you're a grandpa in terms of longevity and playing Dislight, you'll remember, or at least if you've seen old videos even, you'll remember a game mode called Hollow Battle. And Unos was a good speed lead for that because he had 35% speed lead only in Hollow Battle. Now, we both know that Unos has kind of fallen out of the meta in terms of like Shimmer, in terms of how good the Shimmers are nowadays. Not to say that he's completely unusable, but uh, we all know that he's not as good as, you know, the other Shimmers at this point in time. So without further rambling, yeah, I got pointed out, uh, somebody pointed this out to me that increased ally speed and triple threat by 35%. What's triple threat? That must be a new game mode coming out, because if you guys remember, if you were around for when Nora even released, uh, before Nora came out and before this uh, game mode called Falsetto Fantasy came out, if y'all know what I'm talking about, Falsetto Fantasy, uh, basically Falsetto Fantasy wasn't even out yet, and... Nora had this in her attack buff, Captain Ability, Falsetto Fantasy was in there. So circling back to what I was getting at here, it says an all new game mode, Triple Threat. Never heard of this before, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. So this begs the next question, and this is very important. If you're comfortable with where you're ranked at in Knockout and Beep Out, let's say you're in 3%, you're at 2.9% or whatever, and you just been coasting there, you can't really get above that, you can't get above 2%. Should you be saving rival runes? Should you be saving advanced strongstone op boxes? Because I don't know how triple threat's gonna work, but they've been adding more and more rival rune dependent game modes. Uh, for example, beep out and knockout both require rival runes, and even warm up match requires rival runes, and they're fixed at level 15. So if you're sitting at a comfortable rank here, so for example, like I'm in beep out and I can't really get top 200, but I can't, I'm not really going above 1%. So should I be saving my rival runes material because? There's nothing I can do here that would improve my rank other than getting resonances. So I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say since rival runes are being so pushed in our face here, since it's being pushed so much in all the game modes, it's time to consider saving your strongstone op boxes for the next patch, anniversary patch two of two, because that comes out in three and a half weeks so with everything that I said about the ranks, and if you're sitting in a rank and you're comfortable, maybe take that into consideration because three and a half weeks worth of time saving up strong stone op boxes will accumulate a lot of strong stone op boxes, and maybe they're required for this game mode, and maybe equipment's required, maybe it's half and half. I just wanted to put this out there, uh, get that out there, just like the Falsetto Fantasy for Nora. Just basically something to take into consideration. So uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like the tips and tricks. Peace out.